Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Actually today I supposed to talk about two topics but I will let another one go. Like the Song of Songs. But just to make it short, almost then he posed for me a comment saying the Song of Song is full of porn. But then we search in YouTube, we'll find the dad saying that the name of Muhammad found in the Song of Song. And then if we go and read the Song of Song, we will find that this is not about a woman. Secondly, it's not the word of God. It's a man who is a king making a poetry. Many stupid people do not know that the Bible, yes, we call it holy book, but this book have word of a human too. Even Satan, the Quran, speak in it. But the Muslim, they claim that every verse in the Quran is made by Allah, which means even when Satan is talking, Allah is talking. In the Bible, it's not the scenario. There's man, he said, there's a woman, she said, and there's God, he said. So you are a stupid fool. Secondly, this is not about women, but because you have a dirty mind, you always think this is about women. The man is making a point about his city. Imagine her as a beautiful woman. Stupid idiot. Have you ever seen a city have a grass in her chest? <laughs> anyway, uh, I decided actually, I saw a recommendation from YouTube. Uh, we have our sister Fifi. She posted a video saying there's a new historical miracle of Ibrahim in the Quran. And you know, I could not resist the temptation. Seriously, I could not resist the temptation. It's a lot of temptation, and I have to uh, speak about the temptation, which, uh, uh, you know, this guy, he said. Now, I'm not going to play the video, because obviously he himself, he says there's a copyright problem with it. But you can watch it, and you can laugh with me. So this is our sister Fifi saying the following. And by the way, the Muslim they say that Fifi, he made a lot of response to me. But yet Fifi don't dare to give me her Skype to call her, and she don't dare to call me, which is very weird. Fifi. These verses affirm a historical reality which confirm the miraculous nature of the Qur'an. Without further ado, I present to you the Qur'an and the secrets of Babylon. By the river of Babylon, where we sit down, hey, hey, we will, we will remember Zion. Abdul is saying us a secret in the Quran about the Babylon. First of all, as long as you mention the Babylon, you idiot, why you don't mention to us that in the Babylon, your God Allah, he opened a holy butter school? History, science, miracle, why you don't show people this? Huh? Oh, hold on. I mean, how come the Muslim, they skip the story and they give you something is not really even there because the whole video, by the way, he's saying, it's not mentioned anywhere that Abraham, he worships stars except in the Quran and how he knew history saying that there is, you idiot, you just said history saying, history report that many people worship stars. And we will go to that part yet. But look at this here. This is Holy Water School. Rather, scientific miracle in the Quran, discovery, Allah, you open a holy Potter school. He sent two angels. One, his name is Maharut, and the other one, his name is Marut. And they open magic school to teach the man, how to teach people how to make the man and his wife fight. I mean, look at the decent school of Allah. What? So where is the scientific and discovery? Allah, he sent two angels to teach magic. Where? In the, in the Babylon Tower. This is Holy Potter. This is the legend from the Sabian about angels sent by God, who they are a creator, by the way. Those angels are creators too, because the Sabian, where Muhammad, he got too many stories about this. And we will go there. But you see here the, the, the Abdul, when they mention something to you, they hide the most important thing about the same thing. Those people, they have no dignity. Can this guy make a video that says, yes, Allah, you open a score of Harry Potter and add it in the same video talking about the science and the history and the blah, 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 blah. Well, this is the history. It's a legend. 
And why Allah he chose Babylon? Huh? Why Allah he chose Babylon? If we go to the books of Muslims, actually I wish I can play the video for you, but you know, uh, you can watch it. If we go to the history of the Muhammad, and we will see the following. <clears throat> Let us open some Islamic websites. All right, let us see. Hmm. And by the way, I know the website I'm opening, he will say to you this Shia, but Shia, both Sunni and Shia, they are in total agreement about those stupid stories, at least in the major details. If you go here, let us open this one. Give me a second. And the video actually itself mention Ishtar and mention etc. Well, here we go. This is Ishtar. alislam.org Allah he sent two angels to teach magic what is the story behind those two angels Allah they challenge Allah if he why he is going to make the Adam to inherit the earth so Allah he told them you are not better hmm. so he chose he said to them choose two of your best angels and I will send them down to the earth. And we can read the interpretation, by the way, of the Sunni, not only Shia. Sunni and Shia, both of them, they have the same garbage. So we can, you know, like uh, uh, choose the best of your angels, and I will send them down, and I will give them all the temptation Adam he had. Let us see how good you survive. So Allah, he sent two angels down to the earth. And then they met a woman. Her name is Venus. What her name? Venus. Ishtar whatever you name it, depends on the... So, when when they came down to the earth, this woman, she is the most beautiful woman. Read very carefully. This is a star Venus, was a very beautiful woman. She had gone one of those two angels for obtaining some kind of decision. At very first sight of her, that the angel fell in love with her and told her that the truth is with you and made judgment will be on, on, on your favor but only when he gave me control over you the, the, the angel want to sleep with the women <laughs> anyway to make the story short you can read it the women she told them you can uh, you can sleep with me both of you three some only if you give me the password to go to heaven and you have to do the following first you have to you have to drink wine you have to, before you have sex and you have to kill somebody and you have to bow down to an idol and then the two angels they did the, the three things all of this just because they want to have sex with her and then when they gave her the password to go to heaven Allah heard the news and he cursed her and she became a star Tutti tutti, footy fruity. The story is over, and this is the history of Allah. <laughs> now, as long as they are talking about that the Quran have a historical input, and they mention that the Quran mentions things nobody mentioned in that video. Let us see something very funny and very stupid. Muslims always they do when they try to prove a point for us. Let me put it for you on the screen. This is from the video which is posted by Fifi, our sister Fifi. May Allah bless her and make her a virgin in the heaven of Allah. All right? I mean, how stupid are you to quote this verse to prove that Islamic history is correct when the verse saying 
that the father of Abraham is Terah. If you watch the video, you will see they approve this verse and they are quoting it to prove a point. They say in the verse, they don't mention that there's anything wrong there. They mention that, that the, 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 the Old Testament mentioned that Abraham family, they worship gods. They didn't say the word stars. But look what you just missed. Terah, the father of Abraham. What is the name of the father of Abraham in the Quran? Azar. <laughs> Your prophet could not even quote the name correctly, Abdul. He was copying an Aramaic story that Abraham, he said to his father, Azar, which means foolish. So you Muslim, you thought this is his name. And Muhammad, he thought this is his name. Azar, Azar is the name. Hold on. Azar is the name. Of Abraham's father? Eh? The browser froze. Give me a second. Uh -huh. All right. This is the Quran, and this is Fifi video. Which one of them is correct? The father of Abraham is Terah. The father of Abraham is Azar. And then in the video, this idiot, it's not his video, by the way, he's just copying somebody else. He mentioned that the Bible mentioned that those people, they worship idols. They did not worship the stars. And then they quote this, which is Muslims trying to find some, you know, support for what they say. All signs of the stars and signs of the sun and the moon all are all under the Lord control. But isn't it? This is what the Quran is saying to you, idiot. And the funny, they call it legion too. Isn't it Allah who said, he said to the sun and the moon to come and bow down for him? Isn't it Allah who offered the sky to Islam and, 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 Islam and, and the sky refused? But Adam, he was a foolish and he accepted. In the video they said, the Bible only mentioned that the Jews in their book, they have reference of people of Abraham worshiping idols. But only in the Quran, it says they worship the stars. Here you will see that those who made the videos are stupid idiots. Why? Because the Quran mentioned that Abraham, he worshiped and his people, they worship stars. And in the same time, they worship idols. Let us show you how stupid people make videos, exposing their prophet and exposing their religion. <clears throat> is that your Quran? Chapter 21, verse number 52. In the video they said, the Quran mentioned that Abraham, he worshipping the stars, the sun, the moon. But 
this is contradiction for other part of the Quran. Because those people, they are worshipping statues. You see the translation here says images. The fact it doesn't say images. It says tamathil, which means idols, statues. Change the translation, you will find different words, as usual. Choose any one you want. Right away, you will find different words. Right. Here, they're saying images too. Look at this idiot. Let us see the front one until we find someone have decency, little decency. Is is the word images will uh, will it stay there or is going to disappear? Those are saying images too. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm convinced it must be images then. <laughs> if we repeat the lie as much as we can, that means this is what the lie says. Look at this statues. So how come in the video you are saying only the Quran mentioned that they worship stars? You never mentioned the Quran mentioned that they worship statues. And here there's a stupidity about what you're saying. Because worshipping the statues is not the same as worshipping the stars. The stars are there. The, stars, the statues are down. And if you read the whole verses here, you will see nowhere in the Quran it says that the people are not worshipping the, 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 the statues. If you go to the verse which they are quoting for us about Adam, sorry, uh, uh, Abraham, uh, worshipping the stars, you will find that this story is so stupid and proving a point for us. If you go to chapter 6, you will see here it says, And also did show Abraham the power and the laws of the heaven and the earth, that he might understand. Well, this is the same quotation, you idiot, showing me that Muhammad was copying from the Jews' books. And you yourself in the video, you quoted that. When the night covered him, he saw a star. The Muslim in the video, they say, this is a star, which is a star show up very like fast and hardly you can see it and disappear, uh, you know, uh, suddenly. So why the Quran doesn't say the name of the star? You know it, the Quran don't know it. What the Quran will lose by saying he saw a star, it's called, etc. And you will see here that the one who worshipped the star, it was Abraham, not his family. Abraham here, according to the Quran, he is confused what to worship. And you will notice that Abraham, he saw the star, and then when the star said, he says, I don't love, I love not, or I don't like those who said. How stupid is that statement? So he changed his religion just because he saw the star disappearing. Why he never saw since he was a kid that stars come at night, disappear at daytime. And that have nothing to do with them setting or leaving, it's just because the earth is going in a cycle around itself. So the verse here implying that Abraham never saw stars before all his life, like he was inside the box. Suddenly he became a man, they opened the box, he opened his eyes, oh, there is a star, I'm going to worship this star. I worship you, I worship you. And then after a few hours, the star disappeared. So he said, I'm not going to worship the star. I love not those who said. Do you see how naive the story is? Then he saw the moon rising in his splendor. He said, this is my Lord. But when the moon set, he said, unless my Lord guide me, I shall surely be among those who go astray. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? He never saw the moon before. Why? It was a surprise for you that the moon disappeared? 
Like what? The, where is the moon? The moon is gone. So the story again is a stupid story. And then, and this is the most important verse. When he saw the sun, the sun rising, he said, this is my Lord. Not the greatest, the word in Arabic, this is Akbar. Hada Akbar. Akbar is the name of the sun god. Muhammad, he united Tawheed. He united the sun god and the moon god together. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the moon god. al Lah. Lah is the name. Al is a word meaning God. Akbar is the name of the sun god. Allah Akbar. He said, this is my God, this is Akbar. If you ask yourself here, how Abraham, he mentioned that the sun is Akbar. Akbar, if they say this is the greatest, the greatest in what? What the greatest? Akbar in Arabic, when you compare between two things, it's about size, or, or it can be about age. If you are comparing between two person, uh, you have to add some words to make it like about the value, right? But here we are talking about planet stars. This is Akbar. Here the only thing is bigger. So you are saying to us that Abraham is worshipping the stars, but his people are not. If you go after that, Abraham, he spoke to his family. And the funny, the Quran quote the word Hanif, says, Hanifan, you can go and ask anyone who speak Aramaic, you will see Hanif mean Kafir. So how Abraham, he said, I am a Kafir. This is what Hanif mean. He's a Kafir. I have set my face firmly, truly toward him, who created the heaven and the earth? Who is that? And then I shall give. Par I, I shall never give partner to Allah. But nowhere it says how he found Allah. Did Allah send him Jibril? I mean, the guy was sitting over his bunk, looking at the stars. Okay, this is my God. The star go. The moon come. This is my God. He go. This is not my God. The sun goes. This is Akbar. And then suddenly we jump to the story saying that he believed in Allah. Okay, how he knew Allah? No story. In the video, this Abdul he said that Islamic reference and Christians and Jewish reference agree that Abraham was born in Iraq. That's a big fat lie. Muslim reference don't agree. You disagree about everything as usual. As an example, this is the book Tariq Medina to Dimashq, Ibn Asakir, volume number two, page number 326. Where Abraham was born? <laughs> Abraham was a Syrian man. And Ibn Abbas, in the Huqal, ولد إبراهيم بغوطة دمشق في قرية يقال لها برزة في جبل يقال له قاسيون. So how you say Islamic reference agree? Then you see Ibn Kathir who lived with the Christians. He read their Bible and he knew that this is stupid. So he say, why Muhammad did not mention where this guy Abraham came from? The Quran mentioned only one place where Abraham he lived, it is Mecca. Nowhere Abraham is mentioned in the Quran that he lived in this place or that place. The only place he built the house in Mecca. And here we need to ask ourselves how Abraham was born in Iraq and then he went to Mecca. There is a missing part here in the story. Why the Quran is a stupid book to the point say nothing? If we now, just to show you, I'm going to use Google uh, translation for those who do not know Arabic. All right. Ibn Abbas said that Ibrahim was born in the Ghouta of Damascus, Damascus, in a village called Barza, in a mountain called Qasiyun. So how are you Muslim, you say we agree. There, why And why Muslim scholars, they disagree about this? Why? I will tell you why. Because the stupid Islam have nothing to do with history. 
It's a quote from here, quote from there, put them together, make a book. How an important figure like Abraham, the Quran mentioned nothing about it, except he saw a star and said, I don't want to mention a star. And then they did not quote for us that the people of Abraham, they were worshiping idols. Why they did not quote it? Because the Bible mentioned that they are worshiping idols. And the Muslim trying to show you in the video that the Quran is different. The Quran is showing you things nobody knows. If you go to the chapter of Al Anbiya as an example, you will see how many times this is the same thing is repeated. If you go to the chapter of a shu'ara, they are all of them. They are worshiping the same as their fathers. So they try to deceive you. Creating something is not exist, but nothing new here. This is very normal. Read carefully. When he said to his father and his people, what was those, again, they say the translation images. In the Arabic it says tamathil, which means statues. Which are these? Huh? What are, what are you worshipping? But in the video they never mentioned that. They said they were worshipping stars. You notice? So they try to direct the point, ignoring that Abraham is born in wrong location according to Islam. Abraham have the wrong father according to the Quran. Abraham, he makes a stupid statement in the Quran. And not to forget to mention that the Muslim even do not know the name of Abraham. Is it Abraham or Ibrahim? Is it Abraham or Ibrahim? If you go to Fifi video, you will find the name there. It says Ibrahim. Oh, not this one. Hold on. Where is Fifi video? Here we go. Ibrahim. Guess what? Your prophet, he do not know how to code the name correctly. If you ask the Muslims, the Quran, which you have, the, the word Ibrahim is written or Ibrahim, they will say to you, the Quran we have in our hand, it says Ibrahim. Why it says Ibrahim, when the real name is Ibrahim? Then you will find the Abdullah, like they're saying to you, oh, by different reading, it is Ibrahim. Huh? What different reading? What does that mean? You cannot have the name Ibrahim and Abraham. There's a different. The name will be changed. The meaning is, if you ask the Muslim actually, what Ibrahim means, they don't know. Because this is not the original word, have no meaning. It's a stupid word. The name of Abraham, Ava, or the one who crossed the river, is not even a name. But because they are thieves, like their prophet, they don't know what to say. Here is the question. Why it's mentioned, the word of Ibrahim? I will translate to you in English. In the chapter of Al-Baqarah, without Ya, which means Ya. So there is no Ibrahim, it's Ibrahim. Ibrahim. And in the different chapters, with Ya, which means Ibrahim. Let me translate the page in the front of you. This is Islam. Questions and answers answered by scholars of the Muhammadan translate to English. Your prophet is a scam. He cannot even quote the name correctly. Question: Why the word Abraham mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah without Ya Naji 
and the rest would, would yeah. Hmm. Why the word Ibrahim? This is the question. All right. Here you see that the, the Sheikh is explaining. First, the word Ibrahim, you can read it, I mean. The word Ibrahim mentioned in the chapter of Al-Baqarah without Aleph, without Ya, sorry. Why? When the Jews corrected him, they said to him, it's not Ibrahim, you idiot, it's Ibrahim. Can you imagine that God in heaven cannot quote the name correctly? And if you open the Quran right now, you will not find Abraham. They took it off. In the page they say here that this is written the way it's written in Al-Baqarah as Abraham, this is can be found in the Quran, which is in Morocco, and the one uh, 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 or in Iraq or in the or in Syria. What is left? And now if we open this Abdul, who is of them is going to show us the Quran have Abraham, not Ibrahim? Huh? It's gone. They changed it. They took it. I can't even show it to you. And here, that will take us to another stupid thing. If you remember once, I was reading uh, an Islamic reference. And our sister Fifi, she said, Oh, Christian Prince, is that Imam Murra? Do you remember Imam Murra? Who remember Imam Murra? He said, this is not Murra. This is Marra. Marra. But in Arabic, it's written the same. If I write the word Murra or Marra, it's exactly the same. And this is very important now, actually. I'm very thankful for the Lord to provide us with those idiots. Because by their help, we get Islam busted. I will type the word correct uh, twice. Once without Actually, I will type in both without Tashkil. And I will type it one more time. Okay. The Muslim, they said, oh, this is, it says once, Murrah, not Murrah. But the difference between them, there's no difference except Tashkil. So if you are reading a word in Arabic and you just change the Tashkil, which was not exist in the time of Muhammad. This is something not Arab added. It's not the Arab even who added, imagine. So if we add this, let us add it in the top. I will zoom in so you guys can see it better. If I add here Fatha, that will make it Marra. If I add Dhamma, it's like, like a letter, you know, in the top. I'm trying to make it big so you can see it. In Arabic, we write it very small. That will make it Murra. Christian Prince, he said Murra. But he should say Murra. And the Muslim, they made a story about it. Ha, 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 ha. Christian Prince, in the, in the front of me, it doesn't say Murra. It doesn't say Murra. But it says it clearly that there is a person who is saying that. Why? Because we have it inside the sentence. And let us say for the sake of argument that they are right. Here you notice how one movement in the top can change the whole meaning from murra to murra. As an example, if we write the word, and remember the Quran was without dots. So if I write here, this I ask a Muslim what this word mean 
We cannot, you know. I do not know. Because there's many possibility. If I add dots here and two dots here, that will make it an elephant. Make it what? Elephant. If I take the dot here, that will make it one mile. If I take one dot here and lift one dot and add another dot, that will make it be four. The same word. And this is how the Quran was written. No dots. The most stupid book ever. And as you see, little tiny change can change everything. Now, many of you heard that uh, Mimi Hijab, he made an ambush supposedly to our friend, the apostate prophet. In this ambush, a hilarious stuff happened. The same ambush the Muslim they tried to do to David Wood, and they tried to make him look funny and stupid. We will go to the apostate prophet very soon. And we will mention here what happened. This is a video made by Shia, not by me, exposing how Muslims, they lie. Muslim Sunni, they lie to the rest. So Shia versus Sunni exposing each other. If we go here, If you remember this video, this is a video where Mimi Hijab, he said, Allah have no hands. And this is a video where Fifi is saying, Allah has hands. We will play them both. But just to go and see how the words change by reading them. This is our friend Samir Abdullah, he made a video. So for me, I was searching for the like uh, what video to play, and I found this video. Here, Mimi Hijab, he was supposedly debating, which is a funny, stupid debate, the opposite prophet. Look what happened. Then he decided to use one of the variant readings of the Quran to try to show that in the alternate reading, there are multiple sons. And says, uh, and by the way, the Quran says in chapter 25 that there are many sons because it says, um, Tabarak al ladi ja'ala fi samai burujan. No, it does which, not. Pardon? What does it say that? Yeah, it says in chapter 25, Tabarak al ladi ja'ala fi samai burujan wa ja'ala fiha surujan munira. There's two qira'ahs. One qira'ah says sirajan munira and surujan munira. Sirajan wa surujan. Allah Himself made the surajan. Misread the Quran because there's a huge difference between Sirajan and Surajan. Sirajan is one lamp, Surajan, many lamps. Which one of them? Listen what happened next. Ah, I forgot to mention that Mimi Hijab not only he caught the verse wrongly, he skipped a word in the Quran. And why he skipped the word in the Quran, which is Al Qamar, which means the moon? Here, our friends, they will explain to you. The Siraj al Munira means a, a shining lamp, and Suraj al Munira means many stars. So a shining lamp means a star, and uh, sorry, many suns, uh, one sun, and many suns. So, in other words, the Quran says that there are many suns. And that can be explained of the stupidity of Muhammad because the Quran says that Allah he is the Lord of the two east and the two west. So when the Muslim they say this is about different galaxies, the fact the Quran teach that there is two east and there is two west. And the reason Muhammad he come with this stupidity because he could not explain how the sun appear from this side in the winter yet appear from the other side in the, in the summer. The Lord of the two east and the Lord of the two west. Do you see it? Now we go back 
to the stupidity of Muhammad. Mimi Hijab. The cosmic picture of the Quran, therefore, is that there are many suns, many solar systems, because suns are accompanied with solar systems. Basically, he's appealing to the scientific miracle while using the holes in the Quran issue as a feature, not a bug. First issue, if there are two readings and they contradict, they both can't be right. If the Hafs reading says lamp, Siraj, and the Khalf and Hamza reading says lamps, Suruj, they both can't be right. Lamp and lamps are totally different, so pick one. They're mutually exclusive, yet apparently all Kirat are considered equally from Allah. What do you mean pick one? He cannot pick one. Well, hello, you have to pick two. <laughs> and the funny, the Muslim, they say that Allah, he sent the Quran in seven letters and the Muslim cannot hand it unless it's in seven letters. What seven letters? What is this? How that will, I mean, what, what the point of saying Sirajan or Surajan, as he said, Surajan? What is that? Is it one? Or two, and now we will find out why he skipped the moon. Why Muhammad Hijab, Mimi, he skipped saying the moon. You know, if I am the one who was reading the Quran and I skipped the word moon, the Muslim they will say he's a liar. He skipped the word; it's not there. Ha ha ha! He didn't know how to read Arabic. The same as they did with the Marra and Murra. Sirajan or Sorojan. By the way, it's the same word. It's the same one. But the pronunciation is different because of the tashkil. And that will lead us to see that uh, there's two words have two different meaning, have multiple, that's about numbers. There's a huge difference between saying there's one moon and one sun and one moon and many suns. Do we have one moon and many suns? Mimi Hijab, he said, this is the cosmic image of the Quran. Cosmic. And he mentioned the Quran, mentioned many suns. But it says there, one moon. Second of all, the Quran only talks about one moon. What he did was translate suruj, lamps, as suns, but he did not translate qamar to moon. He left that part in Arabic only. It wasn't obvious to AP in the heat of the moment that Hijab was not translating the full verse, but Jay caught this and exposed it clearly here. Alright, so what Muhammad Hijab is doing here is an attempt to argue that the Quran speaks of multiple solar systems, and the implication is that this is a scientific miracle because how could the Quran have this information in the, in the 7th century unless God revealed it? And he bases this on chapter 25, verse 61. Now, just to break down what's being said here, as Muhammad Hijab helped popularize with Yasir Qadi that there are multiple readings or qira'at of the Quran. That means that there are different versions of the Arabic Quran, which as Muhammad Hijab is pointing out here, result in very different meanings. In one reading of the verse, it uses the word surajan, which means lamp in the singular. And then in another version, it uses the plural surajan, so to be clear, the verse doesn't actually use the word sun, it uses the word lamp and lamps. But Muhammad Hijab is saying that when it's in the singular, it refers to sun, singular, and when it's in the plural, it refers to suns, plural. And he's using this to substantiate his argument that the Quran speaks of multiple suns and therefore multiple solar systems supposedly a scientific miracle of the Quran. Now he entirely missed or skipped or omitted the word Qamaran, which means moon. And I'm going to ask you, why do you think he did that? He cites it twice in Arabic, and in Arabic he skips it as well, but he translates it in English, skips it, completely omits the word moon, and he even looks it up on his phone later, and he never corrects himself. My question is, why do you think he skipped over the word Qamar, or Qamaran, the word moon? The verse is saying that God made a lamp and shining moon. Again, Muhammad Hijab cut out the word moon entirely, but the variant says lamps and a shining moon. Muhammad is arguing that lamps here refers to suns, which will grant for the sake of argument. And therefore, there are multiple solar systems, many suns, many solar systems. However, there's a huge problem with that. 
The reason why he skipped over the word moon is because if you take this argument seriously, then there's only one moon for all of the solar systems in existence. Do you see how dishonest he is and why he left out the word moon now? <laughs> so he did read the verse twice, three times, and yet he did not mention the word moon. Why? Either he is a stupid or he is being a smart hypocrite. Choose one. If we say the Quran says suns and moon, that means there's only one moon in the whole universe. If we say one sun, one moon, that is not what Mimi Hijab trying to say. He's trying to show you that uh, the Quran have a cosmic image, cosmic image. So he skipped the word in purpose. If I am the one who skipped the word, do you know what the Muslim would do? They would make a thousand video about it. But this is Islam. And by the way, as long as you are saying that the word Sirajan means sun, well, guess what? Muhammad must be sun too, because the Quran says that Muhammad is a Sirajan Muniran. Is that the Quran? Saying that Muhammad is Sirajan? Hmm. What translation is that? Which idiot? Muhammad is a son. This is why actually the, the Shia, they use this verse actually uh, to worship Muhammad. The Shia, they believe that Muhammad and his family are created from lights. And both of them, they used to be stars in the forehead of Allah. So look what the Quran says. And here the Muslim, by the way, they add things that's not in the Quran, like Islamic monotheism, i.e. What is that? What is, what, what is that in the Quran? And as uh, uh, one who invite to Allah, by his leave as a lamb spreading light okay they will say here it's a it's a metaphorical all right all right but guess in different video the muslim they says the quran used the word siraj when he want to talk about the sun and we just heard mimi hijab saying that the word siraj confirmed that it is sun correct we heard that right they cannot deny it. Okay. The same verse, Mimi Hijab, he quoted. It says here that we made the sky, we placed in it lamps. And Qamaran Muniran. If you go in the Quran, different verse, I don't know if you saw the Muslim speaking about uh, uh, science and the Quran, the light of the sun. Let me try to find it. Hold on, give me a second. Just to show you how they try to fabricate things always as usual and how we get them busted so easy. All right. There is something wrong with this uh, website. It keep crashing with me, this browser. Oh boy, I don't know what happened to it. Okay, let us open a different one. Give me a second. Mm. No, 
Okay, it looks like both of them are functioning wrongly. <clears throat> All right, Quran light science moonlight. I lost all the browser was open because of this crash of this stupid browser. Okay, if you look here, uh, the site can provide secure connection. Hey, come on. Strong with those websites. All right, we finally we find one we can open. Just give me a second here. All right, more light reflect light mentioned in the Quran. Another lie the Muslims they come with connected to the lie of Mimi Hijab who skipped the word moon. The same verse. Look, 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 look. The same verse exactly. Mimi, where he skipped the moon. Is it speaking about what? The moonlight. Let us see. It was believed in the early civilization that moon uh, uh, emanates its, uh, its own light. Excuse my English. Science now tells us that the light of the moon is reflected light. However, this fact was mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago. Okay, let us see. And then they quote the same verse Mimi Hijab was quoting. Blessed is he who made consultation, huh? consultation, okay, in the skies and placed there in a lamp and the moon giving light. This is your translation, right? A lamp and the moon giving light. Okay. The Arabic word for sun in, Arab, in, the, in the Quran is shams is also referred as Siraj, which means Torsh. Okay, you can read the rest. And then they come, let's go to the moon. Chapter 10, verse number 5. It is he who made the sun to be shining glory and the moon to be light. So those are the verses making the moon reflection of light okay let us go to the quran and laugh together remember the word nur mean reflected light remember that well all the quran mentioned the word nur and allah himself is a nur so allah is reflected light too he is the moon Allah is the light of the heaven. Remember, it's the same word in Arabic. We are not, you know, we are not you're reading the metaphor, metaphorical now. This is the word Nur. This is the word Nur. Allah is Nur. So if the Muslim is saying, claiming that the word Nur is a word mean, reflection of light, that means Allah is not God and he was reflecting a light of somebody else. Do you see it? This is the same word. Nur. We can go to the rest of the verses. Chapter 9, verse number 32. They want to extinguish, distinguish, uh, extinguish the, the light of Allah. But Allah light is reflection. <laughs> Allah in the Quran, in chapter 24, verse number 35, explained that he is Nur. And this Nur is coming from burning lamp. So how do we say the word Nur, mere reflection, and here it says in this verse, that the light of Allah in the, of the heaven and the earth, the parable of his light as if there were a niche and within it a lamp, and in the lamp is enclosed a glass, and the glass has it where in the brilliant star, light from the blessed tree, and an olive neither east or west. Allah is illuminating from a niche. This is the burning star, this is the light of the stars, how this is can become reflection now. 
So you notice right away that the Muslims, they fabricate when they want a story, and they deny the same story when they want. And now that will take us to another example. As long as I lost all my browsers, I need to go back to the history. Give me a second. Um, this is one okay hold on the other history let us see it We are just trying to show you the hypocrisy of this religion and the followers of this religion and those who do business in YouTube claiming that they worship Allah and follow Allah. The fact they are willing to deceive and deny what Allah teach. So in the This is a video all of you you knew. It's about a debate between Mimi Hijab and our brother David Wood. If you remember in this video, uh, in this debate, the Muslim always they do mockery, and that's why you need to learn how to respond to make mockery, not to debate. There's a there's a huge difference between debating somebody and mockery debate. When you do debate a Muslim, get ready for a mockery. If you don't do mockery like they do, they will believe that they overcome you, and you lost. Here in this video, our friend David he said today to to Mimi Hijab. Your God, Allah, has body parts. Hijabi said to him, Well, who said so? Time is up, Dr. Uh, for reconciling seconds. these texts with the doctrine of Tawheed, is that I'm truly interested in how we can sit here and poke. Let me move to where, where uh, Mimi is speak. And the Muslim, they will collapse to you, like, hey, clap for you. It doesn't matter what you say, even if you say the most stupid thing. Like when Zaka Naik, they ask him, is the word whore for male or female? He said for both, which means Muslim women, they will have 70 boom, boom guy in the bedroom. And no Muslim was you know, upset from that. This is Mimi Hijab, and now he is going to get David Wood busted. Look at this. The words in Arabic mean, don't hate, speak such salah, this, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. Don't embarrass yourself. Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? <laughs> <laughs> Mokari. The Quran says so. The Hadith says so. The Sheikhs, they say so. And YouTube is full of so. And I have Fifi saying so. Do you know Sister Fifi? May Allah bless her. Who says so? Like this one, all right, about about what the Jews said about the hands of Allah, the hand of Allah has chained. Chained are their hands, and cursed mm -hmm. are they for what they say, rather both his hands are extended, okay? Now, what's interesting about this, um, we were speaking about metaphorical versus um, you know, um, apparent or uh, um, what, what was the word? Or literal. Now, the term uh, yadahu. Again, what do what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah. All right, the Allah hand Allah. of Allah. Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, "No, both His hands are extended. Both, both." What does this mean? Now, here's the issue, Yashie. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept this, that that you know that Allah has two hands, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine, but I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. You can't accuse us of shirk for following the Quran, for accepting what we So maybe hijab is not following the Quran. How come Fifi did not make a video to get me be busted? Here you see the hypocrisy. Those cowards, they are a bunch of puppies. They will bite you if you speak against Islam. As long as you support Islam, you can say all the lies you want. It doesn't matter what you say.
Here we go. This is Fifi debating with, with, with the Shia, saying to them, you cannot accuse us of being kuffar, infidels, for believing that Allah has hands. But Mimi, he says, who said so? Which one of you is telling the truth? The words in Arabic mean, don't hate, speak salah, just eat, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. Allah has parts, he says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? <laughs> See how we make fun of his prophet? He make fun of his heritage? He make fun of the hadith? He make fun of the Quran? Quran says so, and, and, and sister Fifi, Mimi, or Fifi, she was reading the Quran. Was Fifi reading the Quran or he was reading Mickey Mouse? How come Mimi and Fifi, they are from the same religion? There's something fishy here. One believe Allah have hands, the other one he believe Allah don't have hands. Who said so? And look, they skip all the topic by a mockery. He did not answer any of what he quoted for him. <laughs> Who said so? <laughs> and the Muslims, they start laughing. I am laughing too. And this is why I believe that this debate, even it looked like the Muslims, they have a victory on it, appearing by the laughing and the mockery, but it was one of the best to expose that Islam is nothing but garbage. Because if those people, they believe in the same God, why they have different belief? Fifi is a Sunni, Mimi is a Sunni. Why Fifi don't go against Mimi? He says to him, shame on you to say Allah has no parts. When Fifi, he say, Allah has hands, is he lying? He's lying because Mimi Hijab is the truthful guy. He don't lie. <laughs> which one of you, which, which religion we should listen to? The religion who believe Allah don't have body part or the religion who believe Allah don't have body part? and cursed are they for what they say rather both his hands are extended okay now what's interesting about this um we were speaking about metaphorical versus um you know um apparent all the sunni agree this is not metaphorical just make it clear all the sunni agree that allah have hands and fifi is a sunni may allah bless her and Mimi is a Sunni. But why in the debate, Mimi, he deny what Fifi believe in? Because it's an embarrassment. They keep saying to us, how you worship a man, how you worship a man, how you worship a man. And then we find that Allah, he have hands, two hands, and both of them in the right side, which is funny. He have a defect in his birth. He have a shin. If we go to different uh, videos in YouTube, by the way, if you search right now in YouTube, you will find tons of videos made by Muhammadan, the worshippers of Muhammad, saying it clearly, yes, Allah have hands, Allah have foot, Allah have etc. So why Mimi, he deny? Because in order to win an argument, you have to deceive if you are a Muslim. You cannot win an argument by being decent. You cannot. Can you? No, they cannot. Alaikum, Dr. Brother Zakir Nayak. My question is regarding the form of Allah. Surah number 39, Zumar, verse 67. The translation says that and on the day of resurrection, the whole of the earth will be grasped by his hand and the heavens will be rolled up in his right hand. There is also an hadith in support of this, Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 6, hadith number 336. Can we just imagine some form of Allah? This is the last question. Sorry guys for the buzz, this is not from my side, this is from their side. Uh, Allah was doing guys, you know. Today, al Zumur, it says, she's correct, Quran does say that, that in the day of judgment, resurrection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold all the creation and various verses in the Quran, etc. But if you heard my talk, sister, I gave you the key word. The key 
the key to this concept is for ashura chapter 42 verse number 11 which says laisa ka mislihi shay there is nothing whatever like him so if quran says allah has hands people ask me that the quran say allah holds the sky what do you mean holds like that if i say i am holding my family together do you mean to the 24 hours i'm with my wife and my child you see what is that answer nothing like allah so who okay. cares? allah have hands just asking you do allah have hands or not and then he would agree yes allah have hands but his hand is not like our hands who okay. cares? <laughs> and the muslim it doesn't matter what you say but he agreed that allah have hands I'm not holding my wife and child always, yet I'm holding them, but I'm not holding them like that. These are words used. And whenever, as I said, if Quran says Allah sees and hears, you owe that Allah is here like us. He hears. How he hears? Allah alam. <laughs> In different video, Zakir, he said, yes, Allah, he have hands. Let me show you. He make it more clear. Give me a second. <laughs> what a hilarious religion. They don't even know anything about their God. And uh, in the sight of Allah, and there is a saying that uh, on the last day, on the day of Qayama, everybody will witness uh, seeing Allah. So how do we refute that allegation? People say that the Quran itself gives a form to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The brother asked the question that how do you refute the anthropomorphism philosophy? which Islam doesn't believe in, but how does Islam talk about Allah has got hands and the day of judgment you see Allah. Basically, you understand what is the meaning of anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism means Almighty God himself coming in different forms and taking those forms that you know about. So for example, for a human being, a human being will think about a human being. An animal will think about an animal. So for the animal, it's an animal, but because he's God coming in the form of an animal for an animal, even the human being should respect that animal god. So that's how we have gods in all types of forms. What you can imagine, what you can think. See, he just said, if the god, he come in a shape which you know, that is what they are saying about. Muslims don't believe in that, but this coward is a liar. If we go in the hadith, we will see that Muhammad, he says, Allah, he will come to you in a shape which you know. You see it? You see how they lie? They said, no, in Islam, we don't believe in that. He will agree that Allah have a shape, right? He will agree Allah have a shape, but his shape, we do not know how his shape look like. That's not true. Read it. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say, I am your Lord. So, Zakir was saying, well, if this is what they are talking about, we don't believe in this. But this is in front of you, you, you idiot. Allah will come in a shape other than what you know. He will change his shape. So Allah, again, he have a shape which we knew. Which is that? The Muslims are confused. There is tons of videos. All of them, they are saying the same thing. Allah have hands, Allah have hands, Allah have hands. Brother Zakir Nayak, my question is regarding the form of... Oh, this is the same one we saw a second ago. Give me a second. Ah, this is the... This is the new guy trying to copy Zakir Naik. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to you all my brothers and sisters and brother Imran and your family. May God bless you and give Jannah and... That's it. Okay, go to this question. Question to brother Imran. In your last talk, my name is Sayyid Yunus as a professional electrical foreman. I'm working in Saudi Arabia. Okay. And my question to the brother Imran, in your last talk, you said, brother has, uh, Allah has hand and leg how could you prove from Quran that God has hand and leg uh, eyes and nose like human like <laughs> this is the guy now he is the companion of Zach and Nag they teach together 
and he is teaching them that Allah has a hand, has a leg. So now this guy is going far. He's saying he has a nose. <laughs> Can you please? Did he say body parts? Oh boy. Thank you. Sorry, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. What a hey? The question is in English. Why you are you answering in uh, Urdu? What a hey? What a hey? Okay, we cannot use this one. Sorry. The, answer, the, the question is in English. The answer is in uh, Urdu. Anyway, we have tons of videos, all the Muslims Sunni agree. As an example, Allah has a foot. And his foot is very sexy and you know it. <laughs> uh, we don't want that part here. Somebody making like a comedy in this video. We want the Muslim Sheikh only talking. I hate it when those people like, you know, if you only make a video about somebody, why well, you add those music, funny, stupid things, don't be a kid. Uh, let us see. I'm trying to find the, the, the original video. By the way, the Muslims are flagging those sheikhs, if in case you do not know. The Muslims themselves, they are flagging those sheikhs' videos because they are embarrassing. Actually, this is a video of mine. Let me go to the part where Zach and Naik, he talk. Hold on. Here we go. This is Zach and Naik. And at the same time, it bring humiliation for Zach and Naik. Say, I mean, what are you talking about? My finger is not like your finger. Does that mean my finger is God? Nothing is like my Our God. He in the Quran in Surah Shura, chapter 42, verse number 11. There is nothing whatever like Allah. He hears and sees. But he doesn't hear like you and me. For you and me require ear to hear. Allah, how do we hear? Allah, Allah. He sees. We require eyes to see. Allah, how does he see? Allah, Allah. See? Look how they lie. A second ago, we heard the other guy saying, Allah has an eye. This guy, he's saying, Allah is not required to have an eye. <laughs> he said that uh, this is al Lord, yeah, I'm trying just uh, this is the this is the whole thing they can be repeating for you brother nothing like Allah nothing like Allah nothing like Allah my brother there's nothing like Michael Jackson my friend does that mean Jesus Jackson Michael Jackson is Allah there's nothing like Tom Cruise my friend does that mean Tom Cruise is Allah what's this is silly I mean what, what who care nothing like Allah even a flicker of snow According to science, not even single one is same as the other one. Each one of them had different design. Does that mean the snow is Allah? Stupid religion. He hears and sees, but he doesn't hear like you and me. For you and me require ear to hear. Allah, how do you Allah, Allah. Yeah, he hear from... Uh, <coughs> he sees. We require eyes to see. Allah, how does he see? Allah, Allah. We showed you. He sees from the eye, you liar. So Allah is there. Yeah, the form. How it is? Allah, Allah. Did you hear it? This is the, this is what we want. Allah has a form. Is the voice clear, guys? Is his voice clear? Because his, like the, the the recording is not good. Allah has a form. Yes. How it is? We don't know. Have a form. Do you have a hands? Yes. Allah, Allah. We showed you. He see it from the eye. You liar. So Allah is there. He has a form. How it is? Allah, Allah. You have a hand? Yes, Quran says that. You have a hand? Did you hear it? Do you have a hand? Yes, Quran says so. So all those, they are lying to us. You cannot debate a Muslim. Video, Muslim, cut my video, cut my voice, make an editing. You cannot debate a Muslim because in order to debate a Muslim, you have to debate a decent person. How we can debate somebody, he lie in order to make a point. That is not a debate. You know what I mean? If two people are going to debate, then those two people, they have to be both of them telling us the true answer about their belief. But not one of them is lying about his belief and the other one is telling the truth. And this is exactly what happened when you debate a Muslim. 
You are not debating the Muslim. You are playing game with the Muslim because he will play you. He will make a mockery. He will try to lie to you as much as he can. And the Muslim, they knew that their brother is lying, yet they support his lies because they believe it's okay to lie in Islam. There's no problem if you lie in Islam. Who said there's a problem? There's no problem. Actually, the more you lie, the more they bless you. Okay, uh, the second question of Rami was when people pray and say, Oh Allah Azza wa Jal, grant us the ability to see your face in paradise. Or when someone prays to you and says, May Allah Azza wa Jal allow you to see Allah's face in paradise. Wouldn't this be giving Allah Azza wa Jal attributes of humans? Here you see the stupidity of the Muslim uh, sheikhs when they answer. They claim that Allah have a face that will not make him attribute to a human. Okay. How you know? Just because there's nothing like him? According to science, none of us is like the other one. Even the twin, they are not exactly the same. Even your fingers are not the same. Even fingerprint is not the same. But Allah has a face, physical form. Allah have a hand. So here the Muslims, because they are so confused about their God, their religion, they don't know what to do. They do not know what to say. How does God he have hands, have legs, have a shin, have five fingers? When we say have five fingers, what does that mean? And here, shouldn't we ask the Muslims, very important question, why Allah have a hands anyway? Be perished, except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he is the last without an ending, Azza wa Jal. He's the creator of the all, uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see. And he's not created and he does not die and he does not have an ending, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan, and he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Allah, I love your leg. Allah is going to uplift and show his leg in the judgment day. I cannot wait. How we can wait? So they keep saying to you how you worship a man, how you Jesus is a man. It doesn't make sense that God is a man. And then we find that God doing striptease. He have two hands in the right side. He have five fingers in every hand, and he have a leg. Why? He have one leg. What happened? He's a kangaroo. Even the kangaroo he have one, uh, two legs. What happened to the the second leg? And now we ask the Muslims if they dare to answer. Allah have a leg for what reason? Allah have hands for what reason? Allah have five fingers for what? What is the reason? If Allah, he wants something to be, he say be, so why he have hands? And why the Muslims are confirming that those are physical hands? What he need to do with the physical hands? He built the sky with the physical hands. He made Adam with the physical hands, literally, not metaphorically. That to prove that all the lies they say to us Is a lie, nothing truthful there. I'm trying to find the video where this guy he says Allah has a foot. Alhamdulillah, Allah has a foot. Now, here we go. Look at this guy. Look at this one. 
How you compare Allah with human? No, I didn't say Allah's hand is like human hand. Allah said he have hand. What can I say? <laughs> I like this guy. You he can kill Allah. He says he have hands. What I can say? Like, come on. Like, what's wrong with you Muslims? See, the Muslims are going crazy. How you say Allah have hands? The Sheikh, they say to them, you are a bunch of ignorant, stupid. It's what Allah said, what I can say. So the Muslims are like making revolution. How we can worship a God? He have hands. Why he have hands? What is that? Is he a human? The Sheikh, he answered them, Allah, he says he have hands. What I can say? Cut his hands? Change how he look like for you so you can be happy? This is what he said, what I would do. Allah also yeah, talk about himself. He had Allah, uh, Pauka him. The hand of Allah is above their hands. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. Oh boy, I wish I can show you my picture. But you know, I'm a very private person. If I can show my picture right away, you will know how Allah looks like. To make it simple for you, I'm still single. <laughs> and this is why I don't want to show you how I look like. Unbelievable. You cannot imagine. You, you cannot imagine how Allah looks like. Yes, Allah has a face, but you can't imagine. Brother, is he so good looking or like, so he looks like Christian Prince? <laughs> Unbelievable. Last time I asked a woman to marry me, she said, why? There's no men left in town or in the country. Can you believe it? I must be Allah. None is like me. <laughs> so, he had Allah, uh, Paul Ka'idi. The hand of Allah is above their hands. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. <laughs> Just leave it. Like it, like it. Allah have hand? Yes. As a believer, what do you say? Yes. Yes. Why do you say Allah have? Haram, shirk. How you compare Allah with human? No, I didn't say Allah's hand is like human hand. Allah said he have hand. What can I say? So, Mimi was lying to us. Mimi was lying. I'm so disappointed. Very disappointed. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? Which Muslim scholars? <laughs> oh boy. What kind of life this life is? I must be God, Allah, because my love is not, not like anyone's love. Everyone on it will perish. Everyone. But the face, listen carefully, the face of Allah, full of splendor, honor, and might, will remain forever. Hey, hold on. So are you saying that Allah's shoulders will go to, his hand will be demolished to, only the face will start with me flying in the air? <laughs> Because you just said everything will be destroyed except the face of Allah. But Allah have hands, Allah have foot, Allah have five fingers. Only the face will stay. That's horrible. Oh boy. The what? The face of Allah Ta'ala. In a narration, a dua that Muhammad Sallam used to say by An Nisa'i Ahmad bin Shu'ayb, he used to always say this beautiful dua I ask you for the joy of looking at your face of looking at your face in another narration by muslim the hadith says the splendor of allah's face will burn any of his creation that his sight extends to okay i'm so glad that the splendor is coming from his face not from different part that would be horrible let us go to different point Okay, this is all is about Allah have a, a, a sexy face. I'm sexy and you know. Huh? Allah have a foot, Allah have a leg. Oh boy. In another narration, 
in that actual verse it says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a shin. A what? A shin. Shin. Allah has a shin. What happened to the rest of the leg? <laughs> Allah has a shin, brother. That's so beautiful. By the way, if you want to download the video, this is the name of the video. In another narration, in that actual verse, it says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a shin. A what? A shin. In Surah Al Qalam, verse 42. Al Qalam, verse 42. You look confused, Nazri. You get in, is there a problem? Uh oh, he got a guy. He's a Muslim. He's confused. He said to him, Do you have a problem? What we said to you? Do you have a problem? They will kill him if you have a problem. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Do you have a problem, Nazir? Nazir, look like you have a problem. Do you have a problem? Nazir will say, absolutely not. I don't have a problem. No way. I don't want to die. You look confused, Nazri. You, you get in, is there a problem there? Or? No, no problem. Sure? You understand what's going on? Are you sure? No more illustration or elaboration there? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Allah Ta'ala says, in Al-Qalam 42, يَوْمَ يُكْشَفُ عَنْ سَاقَهُ وَيُدْعُونَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَلَا يَسْتَطِعُونَ the day when the shin shall be laid bare and they shall be summoned to prostrate before Allah but they will not be able to now in according to a hadith in Bukhari this shin is the shin of Allah the hadith says that Muhammad Sallam said Allah will lay bare his shin who? Allah Allah will lay bare his shin and all the believers they will prostrate themselves before Allah Ta'ala, men and women. There will only remain those who prostrated on this earth out of showing off or gaining good reputation. Every time they try to prostrate, their backbones will be like one vertebra, like it will be hard. They prostrate and they will fall back, unable to bend. So every time they try to prostrate, they'll fall back. Why? Because in this life, because you have a crazy glue. I told you, don't sit in that chair. I was fixing it. Now you try to bend, you can't bend. <laughs> okay, so Allah have a shin. Their prostration Allah have a leg, sorry. was not for whom? For Allah Ta'ala. So every time they try, they will fall back. Again, we see that the shin refers to Allah Ta'ala, and this must be implemented. Mm -hmm. Must be implemented. Okay, let us move. What is this part? Allah have what? Allah have a foot? Whew. By the way, guys, if you download this video, this is the name. Does Allah have a human form? Download it because Muslims are flagging those videos. Most of them, they disappear from the internet. They're trying to take them down. I have them all collected, many of them collected in one video. So this is a good presentation. You can watch it yourself, uh, made by me. Uh, it's just 37, 38 minutes, all right? You can search it and download it. The name is, Does Allah Have a Human Form? Christian Prince exposes now. It's showing off. This is hellfire. It's been privileged that it only receives the arrogant and the tyrant, I will delete that. Well, Paradise said, what is the matter with me? Why do I only receive the weak and the humble? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Paradise, you are my mercy, which I bestow on whoever I please amongst my creation. And he said to Hellfire, you are my means of punishment, whom I punish anyone from amongst my creation and both of you will be fueled. So he'll create a new creation for paradise. But hellfire will need more and more and more. It will say, as the Quran mentions in Surah Al-Kaf, verse 30, يَوْمَ نَكُولُ لِجَهَنَّمْ هَلِمْ تَلَأْتِ وَتَكُولُ هَلْ مِنْ مَزِيدٍ Today we say to hellfire, 
Are you full? It says no. Is there more? I want more. Then Allah Ta'ala places his foot in hellfire. His beautiful, magnificent, excellent foot. And then beautiful, magnificent, excellent foot. Oh boy. Why I don't have a foot like that? He's a beautiful, magnificent, beautiful foot. Oh boy. So here, you know, again, let me let me copy the link for you guys. Download this video, please. Actually, me myself, I'm going to download because you, oh, you see, I was searching for the videos. They are gone. The videos of the Muslims, Muslims are flagging them. You know, I will download this video myself and let me give you the link so all of you can download it and keep them alive because it's priceless to have Muslims exposing Muslims. Remember, those are their sheikhs. Those are the ones who teach in the schools. Those are the ones who approve, not a bunch of YouTubers. Like Mimi and Fifi. The point we made here, that Muslims, they have two faces. When they speak to each other, they speak about Allah have a foot, Allah have five fingers, Allah have a shin, Allah have a bum. But when they speak to us, no. It's not true. You are lying. Who said so? Subhanahu wa ta'ala. That he has an eye. The Prophet tells us that the Prophet has, that Allah Azza wa has fingers. When he says, Oh Allah, the hearts are between two of your fingers. You flip them as you wish. Oh Allah, make my heart steadfast on your religion. And Question, why Muslims? Why Allah have five fingers? Why he have fingers? Hello? I mean, look, they make fun of you for believing in Jesus as God, but Jesus as God as a man, yet he can resurrect people from death. The Quran confirmed that. He can make the blind see, yet he's a man. He can walk in water. He can create from the mud the bird. The Quran says that. He can even tell you what you had in your houses. He had no father. And he is not like Adam, as the Quran says, because Adam is made from mud, Jesus is not. Even the Quran says that he is the word of God sent down to Mary, so he's coming from heaven. And that's what Jesus says in the Bible, I am from above. So why Allah have a hands, and those hands have five fingers each? He is telling you, he will hold the earth with his five fingers. So what Allah is an octopus, is what? When the Muslim they say, why God, he came to us as a man, would all of human beings ask, God, where are you? Let us see if you are true. So when God, he come to them and he humble himself, what the Bible says, the Messiah is the visible image of the invisible God. God humbled himself, he come as a human. So look what we found here. We found that the Muslim believe Allah have five fingers, each uh, uh, two hands, each one of them have five fingers. He have one leg, which is very funny. I think he lost one leg in Afghanistan. He had a bum. He sit in the chair. He have two eyes. He have two ears. And Allah has no spirit. So he's just what? A physical being? A robot machine? Because there's no spirit inside. Spirit means that you're alive. You see, the Muslim, they say one of the names of Allah in the Quran, supposedly Al-Hay, which means the living. How he can be living, but he is just a body. Except the hypocrites. All the believers would prostrate, and the hypocrites will try to prostrate, and their back goes one piece, and they will be thrown into hell. Allah tells us about himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he has an eye. The Prophet tells us that the Prophet has, that Allah Azza wa has, fingers when he says oh Allah the hearts are stop I need to get you busted stop I am sorry I have to get you busted Allah has parts he says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally which Muslim scholars <laughs> <laughs> I got him busted I got him busted so let us imagine this guys Fifi is David Wood this guy is David Wood. Mimi got them busted. <laughs> 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 
what the heck is this love is about? Where this love is coming from? I think this is the real love. What is this? Which one of you is teaching Islam? Fifi says yes, Allah have hands. Dudu say Allah have hands. Zuzu said Allah have hands. Kuku say Allah have hands. Shishi said Allah have hands. Mimi said no, Allah don't have hands. And the Muslim, he, he, he changed Allah. Look, Allahu Akbar, he make him without hands. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Mimi hijab, he cut the hands of Allah. Takbir, takbir. He cut his hands. He cut his foot. He cut his fingers. He cut his nose. He cut his ears. And he put nails in his eyes. He's our hero. In other words, he screwed Allah. <laughs> and the Muslims are laughing like, like what? Yes, yeah, brother, you got him, you got him. Brother, yes, don't stop, brother. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. This guy is so good, brother. What I have created with my two hands. So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Why he will lift it up? He cannot show it without lifting it up. What do you mean he uplift? I'm really confused here, brother. I mean, everything in Islam is clear, but this one is confusing. <laughs> he will uplift. He cannot show it without uplifting. What do you mean by uplifting? In order to see the leg of Allah, he have to uplift. Brother, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for Allah to uplift. Uplift what? His leg. You cannot see it now? No. He have to uplift it first. How come we cannot see it unless he uplift it? Isn't it there anyway? No, brother. I think the uplift is like the way to take the curtain. We cannot see. We are blind now. So when he uplift his leg, I think that there is some kind of uh, magical things happened. Uplift? I like it when Allah uplift. I'm so glad he are not upright. Uplift is good. What I have created with my two hands. So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg and they are called to prostrate and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites okay hold on we have a muslim here is trying to answer something let us show you just to show you how funny the muslims are this is mr stranger he is a muslim and he's welcome here as long as he's not using bad language if god has face that's not a human attribute because god exists first so it's god attribute it's intelligence human attribute i mean this is the most stupid answer ever because you are saying to me that god have a face a human have a face they have nothing to do with each other who care i'm not asking you if allah have face like me the question why the question why i have fingers when you say fingers that's mean a part have a special jobs attached in a hand doesn't matter how it look like as an example, the lizard have fingers, the chicken have fingers. So they are called finger for a reason. So when you say that Allah have a face, that means he have a back, he have a front. That means his eyes are there. When you say Allah have eyes, that means the eyes is in the face. So your answer have nothing to do with the question. The question is, why Allah have hands? The Quran explained Allah, he built the earth and the heaven by his hands, literally. So Allah is not a God who say be, and it was, as Muslim they claim. He used his hands. He used his hand in building the sky. He used his hand to create Adam. He fashioned a mud. He made the statues. And your God that does not have a spirit. So he's a dead body. He's an idol. And about Allah, he don't look like Adam or a human. That's stupid, actually, to say, because the hadith confirm.
let us see what the hadith says about Adam your prophet is a thief he always steal from the Bible stories this is your book is it and this is Sahih Allah created Adam in his image let us see do you see it and this is exactly what is mentioned in the Bible God created Adam in his image word by word sentence by sentence letter by letter Do you see it? This is a statement copied from the Old Testament. The Muslim here, they say, oh, no, no, Allah is saying here, but the Prophet saying that Adam was created in the same image of Adam. It's stupid with Adam created as Adam. You notice here that the word his is capital letter in the Muslim translation. Why? because it goes back to Allah and then Muhammad he had his own fictions that Adam he was whatever told you know this is why if we go and search in Google we will find that uh, let us find the grave of Adam and the grave of Abraham and the grave of Noah and we will die laughing Give me a second. Man, that is so small, man. Let me adjust the picture here. Brother, Adam was, how big he is, brother. By the way, he is shorter than me. Only what is that 60 meter? What is that 90 meter? What is this? This is the grave of Adam? Brother, are you sure? Same for the grave of Noah, same for the grave of uh, whatever. Just search Islamic names, you know, you will find all oh, their grave is so long. Brother, where is his head? I'm really confused now. Hmm? This is the grave of who? Brother? Hazrat the Prophet? Who is this? Look what happened. They have the same grave of Adam in many places, Muslims. They have his grave in Pakistan. They have his grave in Syria. They have his grave in Iraq. They have, a, they have his grave everywhere. The same person. This is... A uh, prophet, what? Uh, which one prophet? I don't know, it doesn't say the name here. I don't know who is this prophet. A lot of them, a lot of prophets. Uh, look at this guy. Look, 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 look. This is the same grave of Adam, but different location. Look at this, brother. This is the same, this is Adam and Eve now. The wife is next to him. <laughs> I mean, you must have you bury Adam everywhere. Let me check in my backyard. Maybe he's there too. This is the grave of Adam and Eve. What's wrong with you? Look like Adam, he died everywhere. And this is, I look how tall is Eve, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, this is, this is what? This is the grave of who? Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, but it doesn't say this is the grave of who in the title. Allahu Akbar. Look how, they, how tall they are, brother. Mean. 
oh, this is the prophet Omran, this is the grand, this is the grandfather of Jesus according to the Quran. <laughs> Look how tall he is. So how tall Jesus was? This is the grave of Omran. Are you sure? Brother. Oh boy. You know, now I feel so, I feel so bad, you know, because I'm just, uh, you know, like according to the uh, 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 my driving license, I'm like not, not even 60 meter. I feel bad now. They are taller than me. Unbelievable. So disgusting. How we, how we shrinked? What happened? Oh, this is a prophet. This is a, look, look, the same guy, Noah, he was buried in many places. This is a prophet Noah, the tomb of Noah. Okay, this is the, uh, by the way, why the tomb of Noah look like a sandwich? Why it's like freaking out left and right? What's happened? Do you notice, guys? Look, 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 look. What happened? I mean, you can't make even the tomb straight? Oh, why it's like uh, there's curves and this is the grave of Noah. Make sense? It make a lot of sense. What are you talking about? Everything does not make sense. Look, this is a different grave. The same guy, Noah. I mean, how Noah have make many graves, Muslims? What's wrong with you? This is the same grave. Look at this. Look, look at this. I let me try to show you the whole image. I don't know how I can put it on. Me look like a Hindu something. Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue. Oh mommy. Islam must be true. Islam must be true. Oh mommy. And you know, things is going even beyond the stupidity. When the Muslim they say to us that the, the, the Kaaba is the house of Allah and Allah he choose the location of the Kaaba, brother. Really? Uh -huh. Allah he sent a stone and he told the angels to place it in the perfect location in Mecca. Okay. And that perfect location, brother is flooded by poo, poo every year. And the American, they start helping the Saudi to find a solution for the flooding where the poop come. As you know, Mecca doesn't have sewage. They have septic. So when the flood come, all the poop swim and go down to Mecca. Mm -hmm. Allah, he chose the Kaaba there. This is the choice of Allah. Perfect choice. I thought the flooding is a punishment from Allah. Allah is punishing his house and he chose the wrong location for the Kaaba. Oh boy. I don't know how many of you will convert to Islam after watching this video, but I'm sure all of you will convert and brother and sisters to make you like feel better, all right? because we tell you a lot of good stories and all of them they are true. I will show you something you cannot resist. I hope the noise is not bothering you. I will, I will show you something, something, not something, something you cannot resist and will make every one of you convert to Islam immediately. Okay? And <clears throat> But I am afraid to show you because you will be totally tempted. I don't know how many of you is single like me. I will be really tempted too. You know, to be honest here. Okay. The Prophet of Allah. He have many proofs that he is the only Prophet in the world. How he confirmed that to us, he do it in an amazing scientific way. As an example, Allah Prophet, he promised us in the heaven that we will have women who we can see through their bones. 
The Prophet said, I swear by Allah, every one of you will have two wives from the Huris who will be so beautiful and so pure, transparent. I like transparent women. But is that metaphorical transparent, decent? No. The marrow of the bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh. Oh boy. Oh boy. I will have a wife. I can see the marrow of her bones. I mean, that's so good. It's so beautiful. How we can resist this? I cannot, can you? To give you an idea about the promise of Allah in the heaven, so all of you, especially men, will convert to Islam immediately. This is how the Muslim women in the heaven, the whore, will look like in the heaven of Allah. Praise be to Allah. This is so beautiful. Brother, imagine you have your wife in front of you and she is, oh, this is my future wife. She is going to do shopping. Oh boy. I can see everything even in the back. Oh boy. What do you have there? What is that? Oh no. What? I will enjoy this beauty. I will see this. I will say to her the whole day, walk in front of me, please. Don't sit down. No, don't, 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 don't sit down. Just sit down. Just walk, walk by, walk by. Go, come back. Go, come back. Go, come back. And this is my wife when she is doing shopping. Oh boy. Hmm. So beautiful. And this is my wife reading a newspaper. Oh man. And this is my wife. Oh boy, look at this. Sorry. Guys, I should not show you this. This is private. I'm so, I'm so, uh, by mistake, by the way, I show this is a private picture. I should not show you this. But I did, man. Like, what? Is I cannot do that. Look, you can see even the bra. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah who made us Muslims and get all this beauty. Who can escape such a beauty? Can you? I cannot. We have to be honest here. And if you want to kiss your wife, okay, this is her teeth. Oh boy. So good to be true. Wow. I will see through. Who can refuse such a promise of such a God? It must be true. And those Christians are jealous because their God will not even give them a falafel sandwich in heaven. <laughs> hey, Christian, do you have falafel in heaven? No, you don't. <laughs> in heaven, we have this. And we have bird meat. And we have the trees will walk to us and bring us a fruit. And we will have 80,000 boys who they are like those girls. 80,000. And they will not bleed. You know what I'm talking about. Brother, this is so beautiful. I apologize for all the temptation I did for you today. Because I should not do that. I know that many of you now, they will not be able to sleep especially if you are a young person and you are getting tempted by such a beauty. I don't mean it, but things happened. All right? So please, don't make a story about the story. Uh, things happen. I mean, so what? Uh, by mistake, you saw the picture of uh, the skirt and you know, so what? This is the promise of Allah and Allah is not shy to, pro to show you the truth and uh, this is the amazing truth which we... Uh, I mean, why? I don't know why this picture keep coming. That's it. It's stuck in my head. Look at this. All my life, I wanted to know what is inside the women's purses. 
Now we can, what is that inside? Let me see. Oh, this is a brush for her, for, for her face, like a, man, this is a huge brush. Is that a brush? You, you know women, they put things in their bags. Allah only knows what is inside the bags. So we men, we need to know. And finally now we knew, look, what is this here? I think this is a, this is a huge. What is that? Is that a Barbie? Is that a door? I think this is a perfume. Ah, this is glasses. Okay, this one is weird. What is this? I'm not sure what is that. So beautiful. Finally, if your wife, she ate something, you can see what is inside her belly. Not only what is inside her belly, what is inside her... <clears throat> Praise be to Allah. Women, they cannot hide from us anymore. The truth is going to be revealed and no woman can play games with us. Victory over women, takbir! Victory over women, takbir! We can see you, we know you, we know what you ate, we know what is inside your pocket, we know what is inside your belly, and we know what is inside your arm. And the most important, what you put, the credit card which you stole from me and you put it in your bra. Give me the credit card. Mean, why you put the credit card there? It's more secure here, husband. Oh, okay. Guess what? Now I can see it. All of us, all of us men, we can see it. So if you walk in the street, thieves with our men, they can see it. You are not hiding anymore. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to download the videos. You can cut the pieces. But please, don't share the private pictures. They are just uh, personal, for personal use. All right, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And uh, it's good if some of you can make those videos shorter based on topic, like now we talk about this hadith. You can make a short video of it. Uh, hadith, uh, the video about Mimi and Fifi and both articles about the hand of Allah and the leg of Allah and video about uh, 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 how they skip the moon world, etc. So cut them pieces so that it can be easier for you to translate into subtitle and share them with your friends. And remember to download the video as soon as it is possible because as you know, I don't keep my videos in my channel. You'll find always my videos in different channels. So I ad advise you to subscribe to those who download my videos, support them, give them a like when they pause the video for they deserve your support, especially those who add subtitle for they are doing incredible work so people they can learn and see and those who upload videos again by the way you are getting the blessing of the lord of saving lives because yes maybe me it's me who made the video but you by uploading the video somewhere and somebody saw it and he decided to leave us now or maybe a christian child young person or old person he was thinking of converting to islam after he see this he will never accept such a garbage so you will get the blessing of the lord you will be saving souls so Get your blessing. The Lord, he said, that from their fruit you shall know them. Again, we appreciate and we uh, are thankful for all those who support us in all means, in all ways, not only including donations, including those who give, uh, uh, you know, the videos, they pause them, uh, they, the one who may, making translations. Uh, I really appreciate you all. I want to see more people working, but the Lord is amazing. And he is going to accomplish a mission, even if it's one man mission. For on him will depend, not on us. But the Lord, he says, work, and I will be with you. So God, he blessed those who work, not only those who pray. If you want to feed the poor, well, give a sandwich to the poor. Don't pray to the poor to have food, if you can feed him. You pray for him to have a food if you cannot feed him. If he's somebody hungry, somebody weak, somebody sick, your prayer is needed, but your support is needed more. The Lord, he said, from their fruit, you shall know them. And this is today we showed you the fruit of Muslims lying about their religion, for they are following the false god, Satan. For us, we will never lie about what we believe. 
for a very, re very simple reason. We are believers. They are not. They are hypocrites. They are willing to deny what they believe in order to win an argument. And we prove that to you every day. Not a trustworthy, not a true believers. And even when they go to war and they kill for the sake of their God, they are not killing for the sake of God in truth. They are killing for the sake of diversions. They don't care for God. They want sex. Satanic cult. They go for war for sex. They die for sex. They want to get the reward. If you ask yourself why Muhammad he promised all those stupid things, because he knew how a perverted man can be controlled. All the promise of Muhammad is from your stomach and down. Nothing in your head. Nothing. It's about your stomach. It's about your private part. Nothing else. And the Lord, the Messiah, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. With this, I want to say, God bless you. May the Lord bless you all. Islam is false and Christ is the only truth. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the light. He is the beginning. He is the end. And he is going to be our judge in the judgment day. And if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Give it a try. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care.